Governor, how many states do you need to win on Tuesday in order to continue your candidacy? If you don't win a certain number, will you drop out? You know, it's not about states. And, and one of the mistakes I think a lot of people have made at the national level is they're trying to say, okay, it's about winning states. No, it's about accumulating delegates. Somebody's got to have 1,191 delegates to be the nominee. Till they get there, they're not the nominee. And if they get there, they are the nominee, and the rest of us have to walk away. But until that happens, this is a very uh, wide open process. Only 8% of the delegates have been uh, selected right now, 8%. Very few um, news organizations would call an election with 8% of the vote in. And so I think those who are saying, well, it's a two-man race, well, I've got about as many delegates as uh, Mitt Romney. I'm only a few delegates away from him. John McCain picked up the winner-take-all situation in Florida, which put him ahead. But there are more delegates in Georgia alone than there were in Florida, more delegates in Missouri alone than there were in Florida. Those are two states in play Tuesday, along with a whole bunch of other southern and midwest states, as well as states like West Virginia, Montana. Uh, we could pick up votes in some of the ones that are not winner-take-all, maybe some in California.